After this, we are taking this integral 3x squared plus 2 over x. Now, we should first rewrite this thing. So this is entire derivation, and so we will just rewrite the argument. We can rewrite the argument as basically dividing it by the x. So we will get 3x plus 2 over x dx. And now this is addition, right? So we can make this two, inter uh, two integrals, two separate integrals, because this is linear addition. So let me do this. Uh, so we have 3x dx plus 2 over x dx. Now, we can take out the 2. We can take out the 2. But first of all, we will take the entire derivative of this one, which will be just 3x squared over 2 plus plus a constant, of course, right? But then we have 2 over x. Now, we can take the 2 outside. So we can put 2 here and put 1 here because this is constant multiple. So we can take it out. And now we have 1 over x. And we remember, we remember that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So the integral of 1 over x is going to be ln x. And this is our result. Of course, we can add the constant, right? If you want that, and that's a combination of these two constants. That might appear in this one, might appear in this, this one might not appear in either of these two, might appear in both. But if we add them up, there's still going to be something added, still constant. So we can just say C1 plus C2 or this one constant that's these two combined in case they're just a single constant in one of the, one of these will still, the C will represent it. Okay. So this is the result of our integration. We had this, rewrote it, rewrote it once again made it two integrals and this is our result.